Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who is watching us right now. Kung nasaan man kayo ngayon, welcome sa aming programa, Nurse for Nurse with JC and Charlie. So hello everyone, hello JC, kumusta? Mabuti, mabuti, how are you? Kumusta? Maganda, ayan. So a lot has happened this week and maraming celebration sa family and I I know that you also have in your team as well in your own life. Marami tayong celebration. So, kailangan talagang i-celebrate araw-araw. So, ayan naman talaga, no? We are now back to another episode. Pang ilan na? We are on the 15th 15. episode. Yay! And yeah. that is also one reason to celebrate. So, ayan. Exactly. Imagine, almost four months na tayo sa ating program. Ang saya-saya. So, yeah. So, we are both broadcasting live on both of our Facebook pages. So, if you are new and or watching us on live or on the replay, feel free to comment down where you are watching us from. Siyempre, dahil global tayo, we would love to hear kung saan man kayo nanonood sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. So, yes, again, welcome to Nurse for Nurse with JC and Charlie. So, we do this live talk series on a weekly basis. Every Tuesdays or Wednesdays, we do this because we want to uh, educate and help our fellow OFW, especially yung mga nurses natin dyan na nagtatrabaho abroad at baka gusto na umuwi ng Pilipinas to find a second lucrative source of income na pwede-pwede yung maging primary source of income pagdating ng panahon. Pero kahit hindi kayo nurse, pasali kayo dito, pwede-pwede kayong sumali, no? pwede ko din kayong sumama sa aming discussion for tonight. And ito na naman, JT, maganda na naman ang ating usapan Super. ngayong gabi. So, ayan, sa abang-abang yan, ang isang balita sa akin na naman, na mangyayari, busog-lusog sa informasyon na first for nurse with JT and Charlie. So, bago ang lahat, we will introduce ourselves first. So, hello guys! Again, my name is Charlie. I am a nurse by profession and a proud digital business owner. And yeah, so I have been a nurse for almost 10 years now. And actually, the last five years, I was working in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So I was an emergency nurse in Riyadh in a government hospital. So I was an OFW. And I started my digital business when I was still working full-time nung nasa Riyadh pa ako. And I am so grateful and so lucky to have found this business na nadala ko pabalik ng Pilipinas. Bakit ka mo? Because nakapag-resign na ang lola nyo. So, nandito wow. ako sa Pinok. <laughs> yes, last January, I came back here in the Philippines. And now, I am proud to say that I am able to earn online while I am together with my family. So, ikaw ba, JT? So, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat to all those who are watching us live or replay. Magandang gabi, good evening. Um, broadcasting live from Perth and Charlie's in Manila. Um, welcome naman sa 15th episode, sabi nga ni Charlie, um, on our Nurse Be News with JC and Charlie ngayong gabi. Uh, my name is JC Caridad. I'm also an emergency nurse by profession. But based ako dito sa Perth, Western Australia. Dati rin akong OFW sa Dubai at UAE before ako lumipat ng New Zealand. And now I'm permanently based here dito sa Australia. So again, uh, without further ado, we would like to uh, to open there our discussion. Um, a very interesting discussion. So if, if you're watching us again live or via replay, please comment down below. Um, let us know where you're watching us from. Let us know kung meron kayong mga inputs or you know comments uh, tungkol sa ating balitaktakan ngayong gabi. Anyways, katulad ng post namin, um, we recently made a post about um, an amendment made by the House of Representatives in the Philippines um, decreasing, pinababa ngayon yung, um, yung retirement age for government um, government employees from 60 years old to 56 years old. Hindi pa, I believe hindi pa ito um, final because dumaan pa ito sa kakalusot lang last year ng, sa House, House of Representatives at ngayon, uh, paakit na ngayon ito ngayon in the Senate. We're not sure kung it will push through. But it's a very, very interesting topic. Retirement age is, is will be, as they said, it will is proposed to be at 56 years old. Um, ngayon, um, they, of, of course, there are, surely there's pros and cons uh, about retiring early. Um, 56 years old may be late for others, may also be 
um, early for others. So like we said, um, is it an amendment of Republic Act 8291 uh, of the Government Service and Insurance System Act of 1997? Um, about the optional retirement age. Pinababa, again, pinababa ang edad from 60 years old to 56 years old, to 60, no, from 60 years old to 56 years old. Um, so ngayon, um, we have three big questions, three major questions na um, ating, uh, we will be discussing for tonight. First of all uh, is how much should you have before retirement? Magkano kaya yung kailangan mo bago Bago ka makapag-decide na mag-retire. First of all, um, for me, mahalagang malaman kung magkano ang retirement funds, kung mag magkano ang retirement pay mo. Retirement funds is magkano yung pera na ilalaan mo para doon sa pagre-retiro mo. And you will know this um, even before retiring, before, before, you know, before ka mag-last day sa trabaho, you will get to know this through your HR and Kasi magkakaroon naman na yung computation ng lahat ng accrued leaves, lahat ng mga naipon mong leaves, lahat ng classing leaves. Um, some may have long service leaves uh, at kung ano-ano pang types of leaves. So pag-iisihin yan lahat, it will all boil down to one um, amount. So yan malalaman mo kung, kung okay na ba yun or hindi. Pangalawa, uh, maganda rin malaman kung magkano yung monthly pension mo, kung meron man. Um, in the Philippines, I think you get this, um, depending sa trabaho mo, some can get from get pensions from GSIS, others from SSS, and so on and so forth. Maganda um, na, na mag-inquire, na maganda na malaman kung magkano yung actual na amount. Kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng contributions, depende kung gaano kakatagal na trabaho, gaano, kakal gaano kalaki mga contributions mo, kung dire-diretso ka ba ng trabaho, and so on and so forth. So maganda malaman kung magkano yung actual number. Um, at, at, as you know, um, especially with gov dealing with government agencies, medyo mabagal yung, yung process, um, especially ngayon with the pandemic. So better to start early, um, inquire early uh, para malaman mo ahead of time. Pangatlo, um, for me, mas maganda rin na gumawa ka ng, ng listahan ng mga, yung, ng mga utilities mo, yung regular na mga expenses mo in a month. Like for example, electricity, tubig, um, internet or wifi, um, mobile, yung cellphone mo. Um, maganda pag-isahin yung mga ganun. Um, Pag-aralan mo kung ano yung mga trends. Kasi syempre, umaakit ang power bills, electricity bills pag summer. Mababa naman ito pag uh, tagulan or malamig yung, mga, yung season. Another thing is also yung grocery. Pag-isahin mo yung mga resibo. Pag-aralan mo kung, kung ano yung takbo ng grocery. Um, umaakit ba ito? Mababa ba ito? Uh, magkano ba ngayon ang, you know, magkano ba ang baboy? Mag yung mga ganun. Magkano yung mga bilihin ngayon sa groceries at sa palengke. At syempre, huwag din kalimutan maglaan din ng extra money for anything. Mahalaga na hindi masyadong tight yung budget. Um, para realistic lang din. Kasi at the end of the day, um, maganda rin naman to retire. Um, alam ko na during retirement age, medyo, medyo, you know, medyo mahigpit ang kapit natin sa mga sa pera na papalabas. Pero to be realistic, maganda rin na magkaroon na meron tayong parang konting leeway, konting allowance para sa mga bagay na gusto nating bilhin in life. So pag pinag-isa mo yun, let's say um, 30,000 a month pag pagpalagay pag natin. So times 12 uh, months, that's about 360,000 in a year. So tapos i-times mo siya ngayon, uh, probably 20 years, 10 years, 15 years, 30 years. Depende. Um, Another thing din na isip ko lang din is syempre i-add mo rin yung mga gamot. Um, paano yung mga medication? Maaaring hindi ka pa nagsisimula uminom ng mga maintenance. Or maaari ka rin, pero malaki din, sobra, sobrang laki ng chance na in, in, in a few months time or in a few years time, after 56 or after retirement, na you will also start to take medications. Mas maganda, realistic lang talaga. Yung computation, para hindi tayo magulat by Pagdating ng panahon na, uy, bakit hindi ko to nakita? Bakit hindi ito nasama sa, sa computation ko? So, um, hindi lang sa mga gamot, pero syempre yung medical um, medical attention, medical tests, yung mga ganon, uh, yung pagpapacheck up sa doktor, yung mga ganon. Uh, pwede mo yung isama doon sa, sa konting allowance na sinasabi ko. Ikaw ba, Charlie? Yes, po, yan. So, agree ako sa lahat ng sinabi mo, JT. 
ang tama yun eh. Kasi syempre, kailangan talaga yun. Kahit iwasan mo, ganun ka iwasan ang computation para sa retirement ko. Kahit hindi tayo magaling sa number, kailangan natin i-compute yun. And why? Kasi unang-una, what is retirement? How do you think of retirement? Ano ba ang tingin mo o ang retirement? So, ano bang ginagawa mo pag nag-retire ka? So, syempre, pag nag-retire ka, unang-una, syempre, wala ka ng trabaho. So, ano na lang gagawin mo kung wala ka ng trabaho? So, of course, pag-retire, di ba, yung isip mo, uh, fulfilled ka na, lahat ng goals mo in life, natupad mo na, nagawa mo na. So, one, yung iba dyan, just like me and JC, we would love to travel and see more of the world once retired na kami. So, that's how I see my retirement. And also, I want to be happy and comfortable each day. Siyempre, nag-retire na lang ako, tapos, uh, siyempre, gusto ko may savings ako for enough for me to be able to enjoy my life more. Kasi, yun yung last years mo eh, bago ka mawala sa mundong to. So, yeah, be realistic. Siyempre, pwede, ano ka magiging comfortable if you don't have enough savings for your retirement? And also, uh, nandun tayo na parang uh, once you are retired, you have a sense of purpose and meaning in this world na, yun nga, pagka, alam mo yun, natapos mo na yung goals mo in life, achieved ka na, yung mga achievements mo yung goals. Maraming nangyayari sa atin na tumatanda, nag-retire, pero hindi natin nagawa ang mga goals natin in life. Bakit? Siyempre, hindi naman may iwasan yan. So, siyempre, maraming nangyayari sa buhay, no? <clears throat> Change is the inevitable thing in this world. Ika nga, siyempre, nagkakapamilya ka. Nag-grow ang family mo. Tumadagdag ang gastos mo. Pero, you would have to avoid that. And, the good thing is, there are a lot of options and a lot of ways for you to avoid na hindi ka maging comfortable once you are retired. There are options para maibigay mo pa rin yung life na tingin mo, I deserve mo. And also, di ba nakakatuwa rin yung retired ka na, pero you would feel wonderful once you are volunteering or helping other people. And also, you would love to, ano, I mean, live independently. Kasi, madinas naman talaga, most especially sa Western countries, ang mga retirees, talagang independent living na sila. Lalo na kung ang mga anak nila, mga malalaki na at may pamilya na. So, kapag ka ganun, syempre, you would expect na mag-isa ka na lang or kasama mo yung partner mo. Pero, how would you live, live comfortably both nga kung pareho kayong walang saving? So, syempre, kailangan paghandaan yun. And so, ayon sa aking research, so, ang rule of thumb sa pag dito na tayo sa mga numbers numbers but i think this would be helpful for all of us so ganito so uh let's say that you are working right now and you are having a monthly salary no so we are employees so ang rule of thumb is to save at least 15% of your gross salary per month so for example uh ang sahod mo sa Pilipinas is 20,000 pesos per month So, ang 15% nun would be 3,000. So, at least save 3,000 per month for your retirement. Yun pa lang yung medyo conservative method. Meron pa tayong aggressive method. Uh, if you want to have a more comfortable life in your retirement years, uh, add mo siya ng 25%. So, yung 3,000 pesos mo, magiging 5,000 pesos. Pero syempre, Uh, you would take into consideration yung mga monthly expenses mo. Kaya nga nang sinabi ni JC na mayroon tayong mga utilities, monthly utilities and bills. Siyempre, uh, although mas maganda talaga na uunahin mo ang savings mo before the expenses. Lahat dapat naman ganon. Once na sumahod tayo, dapat ang una natin binabawas doon is the portion for our savings. Tapos yung matitira, doon natin igagastos for our expenses. Yun na yung ibabudget natin for our expenses. So, ito naman. So, how much income do you need to retire comfortably? So, ito naman. Uh, at least, you should have 80% of your pre-retirement income. So, that means, yung, for example, ha, in a year, kunwari lang, para mas madali, 100,000 kunwari ang income mo in a year. Uh, annual income. So, yung 100,000, ikukuni mo yung 80% mo. Eight, which is 80,000 pesos. So, it means that, for example, na-reach mo na yung 60 years old, retirement age, or 56, example na kunwari, ma-approve na yung 56. So, let's say, uh, mabubuhay ka pa hanggang 70 years old. So, per year, from your 56 to 70, so that would be 14 years, kailangan may 80,000 pesos ka per year. And will that be possible kung 
nagsisave ka na ngayon, yung sa savings mo ngayon, cash ka ba yun? So, yun yung sinasabi natin na you would live comfortably. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka umaasa sa pamilya mo, hindi ka na umaasa sa magulang mo or sa mga anak mo and uh, nag- nagagamit mo na yung nagaga- napagkagatosan mo, yung monthly utilities mo, yung bills mo, yung medications mo, electricity, water, and everything na may extra ka pa pang bilhin ng mga gusto mo or pang travel. So, yun yung sinasabi natin na retire comfortably. So, yeah, I think that would be the uh, a great picture kung paano mo makikita kung paano, kung paano ka, kung magkano ang dapat na magkaroon ka before retirement. True. That's really true. Um, once you get the numbers straight para makita mo, mas realistic, mas kailangan mo talaga makita mo yung numero kung magkano usually yung regular mong ano, expenses bago bu- para i- 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 bago, para makita mo din kung magkano yung pera na, na po pwede mong ilaan o nakalaan dun sa retirement mo. So, um, we're going to move forward to number two question. Why is it important to save early for retirement? Parang napaka-common sense, hindi ba? Pero napakahirap gawin. Kasi, for me, okay, magre-retire ako ng 56. Kailan ako magsisimulang mag-save? Kailan ako magsisimulang magtatabi for retirement? Would it be when I'm 40? Would it be when I'm 45? Or would it be when I'm 50? You know, giving yourself like the last six years, ibupush mo lahat. At paano ko may mangyari? Paano ko may mga biglang gastusin na hindi, you know, hindi naman ano, uh, na-avoid. So, ma- masya- talagang mahalaga. It's really very important to save for retirement. Not just for early retirement. Should you decide to, you know, not to do early retirement. Um, pero it's, it's because when you're retired, mababali yung cash flow. It magde-decrease talaga yung cash flow. Why? Dahil wala ka lang sweldo. At para sa karamihan, no work means no stable income. Bakit? Dahil nakasalalay sila sa sahod, sa salary. Pag nag-retire ka na, natural, wala ka ng sahod na tatanggapin. Um, nakaasa ka na lang sa pension mo kung meron man, di ba? And even for 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 Filipinos or for migrants who are who will be retiring here abroad, nakaasa ka na lang talaga sa pension. Kung magkakano yung pension mo, if your pension says $2,000 um, a month, That's it. Pagkakasyahin mo talaga lahat. Uh, ano man ang kailangan mo, if, whether if you're able to save some or a few or hindi. But in the Philippines, um, mahirap kasi magkasakit. Um, even naman dito, um, abroad. Um, because una, pag, pag-retired ka na, syempre wala ka ng health card. Wala ka ng private insurance. Um, kasi most naman, or well, lahat naman, um, unless na kumuha ka for your own self and you're paying it for it, um, your employee gets it for you. Um, even in the Philippines. Para siyempre, pag retired ka na, mas vulnerable ka na magkasakit, mas, mas madali kang hawaan, at dyan na naglalabasan yung mga chronic conditions, usually dahil nagsimula nung mga bata pa. Kung how you took care of yourself, kung paano ka nagtrabaho, nagpursigi, overtime ng overtime, walang tulog, walang sobrang pagod, you've, you know, you've subjected your physical self in so much fatigue over the years, naku, it will pile up talaga. Um, at yan din talaga ang isa kong uh, pinaprevent personally. So in the Philippines, um, you have, um, meron naman tayong mga discounts. Um, uh, like with senior citizen, there's 20%. But it, I, I don't think it's uh, it's applicable for 56 years old, right? I think, magkano, ilan ba ang edad? 65? 60, 60, 60 years old. So so there's four years more if you retire from 56. So medyo mahaba-haba. Ang dami pang pwedeng mangyari sa apat na taon. Um, and so on and so forth. So ang daming you know, medical treatments na kailangan mo. Um, ang problema kasi when we're in an advanced age or we're you know, 56 and above or even 60, katulad na sabi ko, yan yung talaga yung mga panahon na talagang naglalabasan yung mga kasukasuan yung mga sakit-sakit sa, sa katawan. So, from the diagnosis, from the assessment, from the medical tests, procedures, para kailangan, kailangan na kailangan ng doktor para ma-diagnose yung sakit mo, <sighs> kailangan talaga natin ng pera. Um, so, napakalaga. And ap- apart from that, katulad nga ng sabi ni Charlie, of course, retirement uh, retirement age mo na. It's your golden years. Sinatawag ko ng golden years kasi... Dapat supposed to be, you're just going to enjoy your remaining time. You're going to be, uh, pwede mong habulin yung mga passions mo in life, yung mga bagay na hinakalimutan mo o nakaligtaan mong gawin, di ba? Um, pwede kang mag-start 
uh, ng bagong hobby uh, o pwede kang or, or you know you dive in on your mga in, in mga old interests or even connect with the other friends or yung mga relatives mo na nakalimutan mo na you know you could trace it all back now you have all the time in the world to do all these things that's why mahalaga to save because you of course you want to retire comfortably Yes, totoong totoo yan. So, how would you retire comfortably kung napakarami mong iniisap, di ba, kagaya niyang uh, mga unexpected natin na mga gustusin, like for our for our health, yung sinasabi nga ni JT. Siyempre, hindi maiiwasan yung tumatanda ka, no? Kahit gaano ka ka-healthy, kahit gaano ka mag-exercise everyday, tatanda ka. Lahat ng organs mo, yung katawan mo, tatanda. So, kahit gaano mo iwasan, mangyayari at mangyayari siya. It's just a matter of when. It's just a matter of sure. time. So yeah, for me, ito naman, I have five reasons kung bakit kailangan mag-save time early for retirement. So first, there is more time to save. Ito naman, very uh, self-explainable naman siya, no? Because if you start saving in your younger years, like for example, 20s, but actually, that is the talagang uh, time talaga na dapat na mag-save ka. As long as, uh, as soon as you are working, as soon as you become an employee, and you are, you know, uh, getting salary, you should actually start already saving for your retirement. Kung tayo nga yung nagsisave para sa ating uh, life insurance, di ba? Sa ating pagkanamatay tayo, nagsisave na tayo. Why not? For our retirement, inunahan mo naman masyado. Lumiretso ka na agad sa pagkamatay mo. So, unahin natin ang retirement natin. So, yeah, there is more time to save. Why? Because they, you can afford to contribute smaller amounts on a regular basis. So, syempre, kung 20s pa lang, uh, nag-save ka na, so you would have 40 years to save. So, hindi mo kailangan mag-save ng sobrang laking pera because you have a lot of years to save. So, you know, it's saving a little early or saving a lot later. So, pagka 40s ka na, 20 years na lang ang isa-save mo. So, syempre, instead of, kunwari, 3,000 lang per month ang iyong save, magiging 10,000 per month ang bigat nun, di ba? Tapos, isa lang yung trabaho mo. Wala ka pang extra income. So, mahirap. Yes, pwede maging posible, pero napakahirap. Lalo na, inflation pataas ng pataas every year. So, yung ba- value ng pera mo, pababa ng pababa. So, it would be tapos ang buhay, gandag ka pa ng anak. Madadagdagan ka pa ng anak ng mga gastusin mo. Uh, diba? Tuition fees nila, pagkain, utility bills, lahat na dagdag ng dagdag na co-compound ang gastos mo. Imbis ng income mo ang ipa-compound mo yung gastos mo na co-compound. So, ang hirap mag-save ng later years na once 40 ka na or 50 ka na. Diba? Kasi ilang years ang nakabulin mo. So, kilos-kilos. Yeah, so for the second reason naman, of course, you will, we should take advantage of the compound interest. Kasi yung money na sinasave mo, it will earn interest. And then, on top of the interest that it has already earned. So, yun yung maganda kasi. Once you say, kahit sabi mo sa banko lang yung nakasave, eh, kahit pa paano may interest, at least may interest. So, kung nakapag-save ka ng mas maaga, like your 20s, so, for example, meron ka ng 10,000, malay mo, maging mga 100,000 yun after, di ba, sa compounded interest pa lang yun. So, di ba, at least kahit pa paano nakatulong yun, kahit medyo maliit sa banko, at least it would help kasi kahit pa paano nag-compound siya, nagpatong-patong ang interest mo. And the third one, of course, to reduce the stress levels. Yun nga, yung connected dun sa sinabi ni JT na yung health natin, syempre health is well. At totoong, totoo yan. So, syempre, uh, kailangan din kasi maging healthy tayo. Kasi, oo oh nga, may pang-retirement siya nga. It would live comfortably. You would be, pero ang health mo naman, degrading naman, ang bilis mo degrade. So, tinatandi natin ang sarili natin, ang katawan natin. Pero, ito pa, syempre, in-connected dun sa sinabi ni JC na, of course, kapag retired ka na, wala ka ng trabaho. So, if there is, kung wala ka ng trabaho, reduce talaga ang income mo. Kasi, madalas naman lahat ng tao nagre-rely sa job nila, sa trabaho nila. Kasi lahat naman tayo, lahat may trabaho ang mag- buti sana kung meron kang extra source of income na na nagsisilbing passive income mo. Like if you have a business or if you have uh, stocks, if you have saved like that, or parang pag sa pag-ibig MTT, kung may ganun ka, may additional income ka for your retirement. At ano kung wala? So, mahirap. So, imbes na 
mas stress ka on your retirement age, on your retirement year, avoid natin yun. So, yan ang uh, mahalagang rason yan para mag-save ka ng early for your retirement. And also, para maka-avoid tayo ng utang. We avoid this. Nag-save tayo ng early para pagdating mo ng retirement age mo, wala ka ng utang. Di ba ang sarap mo sa pakiramdam na bayad na lahat ng credit cards mo? Ang bahay mo, bayad na lahat. Wala ka ng paproblemahin. Ang kotse mo, bayad na rin. Yung mga anak mo, okay na. Kung nakapagtapos na sila, edi maganda. Kung hindi, konting kayo na lang. Pero at least, di ba, yun na lang. Wala ka nang iintindihan na extra costs na hindi ano dun sa retirement mo. So, yeah. Pagka may ganun kasi na nagsisave ka early for your retirement, you have a plenty of time to build up a savings cushion na nagko-cover dun sa retirement costs mo. So, lahat-lahat na yun. So, yung pagkain mo, utilities mo, medication and everything, konti check up, paano pa pagka may emergency ka, paano ko na-hospital ka. Siyempre, hindi natin ma-avoid yun. So, kailangan, uh, hindi naman sakto talaga yung retirement uh, funds mo, masubrahan natin ng konti. So, uh, of course, the last one is to help your loved ones. Ikaw ba naman, tumunda ka parang medyo mahirap sa pakiramdam na wala ka maipamana, di ba? Lalo na sa mga anak mo. Ako, wala pa akong anak, pero, of course, uh, nakikita ko na yun advanced eh, in the future. Ayoko naman silang bigyan ng pamanahan ng utang. Siyempre, gusto ko silang pamanahan ng pera or ng negosyo or ng something na alam, maiiwan ko, ng isang legacy na maiiwan ko na alam ko mag-generate pa rin either mag-generate ang income para sa kanila or nandiyan na mismo, maipapamana ko yung pera na naipon ko kung hindi, ma- kung di ba, malasin ng tao at may kunin tayo agad at guma- magamit mo agad ang life insurance na kinuha mo. At least, meron kang extra para at least may ma-save ko. Di ba, ang sarap sa feeling, no, na nakakatulong tayo sa family natin. And, yun nga, at least, no, minsan kasi may mga ibang uh, tao na gusto mag-volunteer while they are working but they cannot afford. Because, syempre, dahil nga sa mga gastos natin sa family, pero yung iba na gagawa yan when they are retired. So, nakakatuwa na makita na retired ka na, pero nakakapag-volunteer ka pa to help others. So, nakakatuwa yung gano'n na hindi lang sarili mo ang natulungan mo, pero ang ibang tao din. So, yeah, you know, uh, saving for retirement may seem a very daunting task. Nakakatakot yeah. naman talaga. Nakakaano siya. Siyempre, parang iisipin natin, on the other side, it's extra gastos. Kung iisipin mo ngayon, eh. malalaman mo lang kasi yan once you have retired. Pero, alam mo yan, but by starting early, it may, you make it easier for yourself. Uh, it's like you're, it's parang sa nursing, di ba? The best way to uh, to not get sick is to prevent it. Prevent from getting sick. So, parang ganun lang yun. So, prevent yourself to be stressed when you are retired by saving early. Totoo. Yeah, totoo. You're really right. It's really daunting. It's really daunting. Um, it's like, you know, kay, alam mong it's coming. It's like the elephant in the room. Alam mong papunta tayong lahat doon. Pero, hindi natin pinag kung pinag-uusapan man, pero hindi natin, hindi talaga tayo gumagawa ng concrete things para, you know, para to prepare ourselves. Um, even for migrants abroad, um, kadalasan sa atin, naka, naka, nakasalalay lang tayo sa, we're only trusting on on the super funds that we have. Um, kung magkakano yung mabibigay, you know, mabibigay ng government from the earnings that we have during our productive years. Pero savings-wise, saving on our own, personally saving hindi talaga ganun uh, talaga ka-active at kalakas yung ano yung ating you know uh, preparation for retirement so moving forward on the last question how to re- prepare for retirement so maraming katulad ng sabi ni Charlie marami namang things na po pwedeng natin gawin um, pero yun nga uh, first of all uh, for me it's prepare early Um, ito, medyo case-to-case basis to. Katulad ng sabi ni Charlie, it's ideal to start in your 20s by giving away, you know, by saving at least 15% of your of your regular, your monthly income. But of course, alam naman natin anong nangyayari when, when we're on our 20s. 
panayang travel, panayang shopping, no, no. <laughs> mapunta lang ng mall, hindi po pwedeng umuwi na walang bit-bit na bag or walang bit-bit no. na kung ano mang nabili. Kung wala mang naibili, kailangan bumili ng Starbucks, kailangan bumili ng milk tea, kailangan <laughs> sus! That's really, uh, <laughs> I think it's all part of the age. Kaya mahirap talaga. I think it's very rare and it's very few na, na makapag-ipon ka or to start thinking about retirement, saving for retirement at your early 30, uh, 20s. Um, probably on your 30s, uh, siguro mas realistic. And again, on your 20s, dyan din nagsisimula yung, syempre, you st- others um, start to build their families, nagkakaanap. So, mag, you know, magpapakasal, gusto na magandang kasal, magandang wedding. Of course, everyone's want that. Um, magkakaroon ng unang anak, magkakaroon ng pangalawang anak, yung mga, and so on and so forth. So, build up ng build up ng build up. So, when we're in our 20s and our 30s, hindi talaga tayo nakakapag-isip um, to save, to start saving for retirement. But of course, we're encouraging everyone to prepare as early as possible. Mahirap gawin, pwedeng, pero realistic naman. Hindi imposible yung gawin. Kailangan mo talaga, talaga mag-isip ahead of time. Pangalawa, savings. Kaya na sinasabi namin, um, uh, Charlie has given you the numbers, the ideal numbers. Um, you, could all, uh, you could either do it on a regular basis, like you know, saving a portion of your monthly income, or pwedeng bultuhan. Let's say, um, bakit hindi mo isave yung 13-month pay mo? Um, instead na ipabigay mo sa, you know, ipabili mo ng, ng ipang shopping mo sa mall for Christmas, bakit hindi mo siya, you know, save it for a better purpose, for a bigger purpose um, that is for sure ikaw rin naman na magbe-benefit. Pangatlo would be investments. Katulad ng sabi nila in investing, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So pag pwede yung katulad sabi ni Charlie, mag ka ng MP2 or mag-invest ka sa banko, patulukin mo. Um, and dami. And mutual funds, um, cryptocurrency kung gusto mo. Um, just don't go for scams. Siyempre, mahirap naman, uh, mahirap mas scams. Sa namakmak ang scams, alam niyo na yan. Pag-usapan na natin yan over and over again. But uh, anyways, um, the gist is just invest early. Um, tapos gamitin mo yung pera for retirement. Um, next that I could think of is maximize your benefits. Kung papa, kung papa um, retire ka ng this year or next year, i- i- maximize mo yung benefits mo. Kung meron kang health card, edi, if, it co- if the health card covers for executive checkup, magpa-executive checkup ka na taon-taon for the last five years para makita, di ba? Mahuli kung ano yung mga kailangan hulihin. Um, gamitin na yung health card kung pambili ng mga maintenance at kung anik-anik. Magpa-check up na sa doktor. Um, get all the tests done. Be brave. Alam ko, um, you know, as nurses, palagi namin nakikita to over and over again sa hospital. A lot of people are really in denial doon sa, you know, sa diagnosis and sa assessment ng, ng sakit. But guys, you know, um, just take advantage of what you have. If you have health cards that, uh, you know, has good coverage, gamitin nyo na yun, maximize your benefits. And of course, um, the last thing that I could think of is gumawa kayo ng long-term plan. Um, planuhin na mabuti. Hindi, hindi nyo tao, retirement kasi... It, Ilang dekada, of course, we're hoping na buhay pa tayo in 20, 30 years, even 40 years even after retiring. So talagang we are uh, thinking of planning of decades and decades of our life. So plan wisely, plan long term, para kung ano yung mga bagay na gusto nyo gawin, gusto nyo mag-volunteer, gusto nyo mag-travel, gusto nyo tumulong, gusto nyo mag-charity. If you, if you want to devote your time to church, if you want to devote your time to community, to good causes, to community causes, go on. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, kailangan natin ng funds para comfortable ang buhay in our retirement years. Yes. So, nasabi mo naman na talahat. So, ang sa akin naman, <laughs> ulitin ko lang eh. <laughs> okay lang, go. Ito so, natin ng konti. Ang sa akin, uunahin ko yung pagpa-plan. Siyempre, uh, of course, I would need to know the numbers. Siyempre, magkano sure. bang kailangan ko to live back comfortable and happy retired life. So, syempre, uh, unahin mo kung paano ka ba nabubuhay ngayon? Paano ba yung lifestyle ngayon? Uh, nabu- paano, magkano ba ang monthly expenses mo? So, from that, um, tapos, 
kakumpitin mo naman siyempre kung sa trabaho mo, uh, magkano bang kikita mo doon, kaya mo ba? Normal, a lot pa ng ganon. So, yeah, I would go through that, through those numbers, and then I would save something, uh, a portion of my salary. And then, yeah, it would start from there. Uh, una, I would put into savings, like own savings lang, like in the bank, ganyan. And then afterwards, I would invest, like what we did, So, like, yung ginam- ginawa namin ni JC, nag-i-invest kami, uh, like, the mutual funds, uh, business, uh, stocks, and uh, cryptocurrency, lahat na nang pwede mong pag-investan, investan mo eh, kung kaya mo naman, bakit hindi, di ba? Uh, so, mag- mahalaga din na, you would not just rely on your investment. Maganda na, kahit may investment ka, mag-save ka pa rin. Kasi iba pa rin yung nakikita mo, yung savings mo, na nakikita mo, ah, ito na yung pera ko, tumataas na lumala ka niya. Mas namumotivate ka. Mas nagiging maganda sa feeling na parang, ah, tumataas yung savings ko, kaya na ito. Tapos, nadagdagan mo pa on the next month, on the next year. Tapos nakikita mo na kaya mo pala. So, maganda rin na gano'n na kahit may investment ka, huwag kang uh, panatag ma, na kahit may investment ka. Eh, paano kung bumagsak yung pinag-investan mo? Kung sa stocks ka nag-invest, so, paano kung bumagsak bigla yung, yung company? Hindi mo malalaman because hindi naman natin alam po anong mangyayari sa future. Eh. It's indefinite. Hindi natin alam yan. So, for me, mas okay pa rin na may savings ka pa rin talaga besides having an investment. So, tapos, doon naman din babagsak na, uh, alam mo, besides that, yun nga, yung health mo talaga, for me, that, uh, maaari hindi niyo pa nakikita sa akin ngayon, pero health is well. Totoo yan. Kaya nga ako dumidikit kay JC para makuha ko yung routine niya, yung health routine niya, para maging health buff din tayo. So, you, you know, if you want to be healthy, you know, uh, to think how other people think, di ba, uh, be with like-minded people na. So, you have to be with them para ma-motivate her. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to start to live a healthy life And I would like to maintain that every day. I'm sana ma-maintain natin kasi I want to live longer. So yeah, I think that's also one uh, preparation, one way to prepare for my retirement. Siyempre, ano kung may enjoy yung retirement ko kung may mga sakit na ako, kung hindi na ako healthy. So sa akin, babagsak pa rin doon na health is wealth din talaga. So yeah, and ano pa ba? Of course, yun na nga. Uh, ano, always, let's always Uh, think na ang ano, wala tayong iba nga asahan kundi ang sarili lang natin kahit mag kahit may family tayo even if we have parents even we have our children even if we have our spouses isipin natin na tayo lang kasi wala ka talagang dapat asahan kundi ang sarili mo lang uh, your parents are not your emergency fund and your children are not your retirement fund so let's be responsible enough and let's not give them burden So, ang sa akin naman, alam mo yun, syempre, ayoko mangyari yun sa future children ko and sa parents ko. So, for me, I would, gusto ko na tumanda ako at mag-retire ako nang wala akong iniisip na, alam mo yun, ah, ginagasta sa nila ako. Yung makakonsensya ka pa, yung medyo, alam mo yun, may guilt ka. So, syempre, gusto kong iwasan yun at ayoko talagang mangyari yun. Para talagang totally happy, ano ka, retired, ba diba? So, yun nga. Uh, to cut short, you know, to live a happy retired life, you have to make your hard-earned money work money for you. So, syempre, paikutin natin yan ang paikutin. So, gaya nga na sinabi ni Tracy din, don't put all your eggs in just one basket. So, mag-diversify tayo. Hindi lang sa ating mga uh, gastusin at mga investments, pati yan yung sa savings natin, i-diversify natin. So, yeah. Exactly. Um, napaka-interesting talaga ng topic natin tonight. Um, that's why a lot of people are watching us um, tonight. And thank you for that. Ayin saying good evening, JC and Charlie. Hello. I think Ayin's watching us from Philippines, right? Yes. Yes. Um, Jill is watching us from um, PNG. Magandang gabi, Coach. Thank you for watching. Christine saying watching from Brisbane. Hi, Christine. Good evening. Hi. Arif is watching from New Zealand. Hello. Ryan is watching from Cebu, Philippines. Great topic again, bro. And sis, exactly. Maganda talaga siyang topic. Coach Diane is watching here from Perth. Ayan is saying, work now so that you can retire without worries. Totoo. Para hindi din umasa sa mga anak. Yes. Sabi ka ni Charlie, your kids is not your retirement plan. 
Um, Rose, Coach Roach, Rose is watching us from uh, from Perth, um, Australia, um, and Anna is watching us from Canada. So, maraming maraming salamat for all those who are watching. If you're watching us again from uh, replay, comment down below. Let us know what you're thinking of. So, ngayon, handa ka na bang mag-retire at 56 or even, you know, earlier or later? Um, so we'd like to invite you uh, to sign up for a complimentary webinar gamit ang pangalan at email mo mag-sign up sa isang libreng webinar um, na makakatulong sa'yo, hindi lang sa pag-retire ng maaga, but para mag-invest. Um, now is the time to invest. Um, walang perfect time, sabi nga nila, kaya huwag maghintay ng bukas, kinabu- uh, you know, sa makalawa, sa katapusan. Do it now. So we both have our own face uh, business. Um, sorry, uh, websites. Um, Charlie, as you've seen in 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 on the screen, is www.lifepilotwithcharliemay.com, and mine is www.jccarrydadnurseboss.com. You can also message us to our Facebook pages. We'd love to hear from uh, from anyone. Uh, kung may mga tanong kayo, concerns kayo that you would like us to know, so we're just a message away. All right, so yan, nasabi na nga ni JC, napakagandang topic and asahan nyo na maganda na naman ang ating topic for next week. So, kagaya nga ng sinabi ni JC, you know, in order for you to save and prepare for your retirement, that would be, alam mo kung talagang isa lang ang job mo, isa lang ang source of income mo, dagdagan mo yan. At sab, eto nga, nasabi na ba namin na ang business namin actually has five income streams. So, kahit ito lang, ang pag-investan mo, solve na solve ka na at alam mo, makaka-retire ka ng very happy at very comfortable. So, syempre, dyan tayo. Yan ang goal natin. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? So, mag-sign up na kayo at wala namang masama din magtanong. So, pwede kayong magtanong sa amin anytime that you have questions. So, yeah, I think that will be all for us today, awesome. tonight. Yep. Maraming salamat. Thank you again for watching. Join us again next week for another interesting topic um, here on Nursepreneurs with JC and Charlie. Good night.